prevent mutiny and keep the crew under control, the captains enforced iron hard discipline. They whipped men like William into shape. A lash of the rope was the brutal answer to every infringement of the ship's strict rules. Nelson actually disapproved of flogging. He said, it makes a good man bad and a bad man worse. Nevertheless, it happened all the time. Discipline was vital with so many men in such a confined space. On every ship kept in a red bag was the infamous cat o' nine tails. And when the cat was out of the bag, you were, to use a naval expression, up a certain creek without a paddle. The cat was just a piece of old rope, split and knotted at the ends. It was designed to cause excruciating pain. The bosun cracked it on the bare backs of any sailor found insolent, drunk or disorderly. Ian. Right. The cat is out of the bag. So I see. On deck, Ian Bloomfield, our resident bosun, is a practised hand at flogging. Is this um, a typical cat of nine tails? And is this... It is. Um, there's, there's a couple of other types. Yeah. You could have a wooden handle yeah. or a rope handle, mm. or you could go into the thieves' cat, mm. which is very similar, mm. only with heavier knots. Obviously, the thieves' cat, as its name suggests, would generally only be used against people who have stolen. Right. And you wouldn't use it a lot, because of the very nature of it, you're going to cripple a man. Yeah and you don't want to cripple him, you want him back to work. All right, Ian, you go first, mate. You've got the wooden shafted one. All right, give us a little right. room to swing. I will, don't you worry, mate. It's such a vicious punishment, we can only exact it on a dead pig. But imagine if it was your back. The blow was so strong, it would knock a man over, so they tied him to a rack. What sort of crimes would uh, merit this punishment? Well, the captain had the right to give you a punishment of a flogging for anything, ranging from... Drunkenness, yeah. filthiness, because obviously we're a very clean service. Wet clothes below deck, being asleep on duty, <sighs> not being on watch. If I got drunk, which of course is highly unlikely, um, what, what would I get? Once you've been caught twice, you'd be getting a dozen lashes. And if you had got caught a third time, obviously it would go up and up and up. If the captain had enough against you, he wouldn't just punish you for one thing, it'd be drunkenness and failing to do your duty drunkenness and insolence. He would round it up and give you more and more. Because once you're at sea, Captain is second to God and he's closer. The knots of the cat sliced through skin. One eyewitness account described a beating. His back resembles so much putrefied liver and every stroke of the cat brings away congealed blood. And the bosun's mates are looked at with the eye of a hawk to see they do their duty and clear the cat's tail after every stroke, the blood at the time streaming through their fingers. Punishment has got to be severe enough so that everyone else looks at you and thinks, I'm not having that right. done to me. And what other punishments apart from the cat do they have? If a man was caught stealing, right, right they could actually be made to run the gauntlet. Right. What would happen is all the men would be paired off and spread around the deck. Right. Every man would then be issued with a nittle which is a small a three yarn rope. Yeah. yeah. Just brought together, small, small knot to put into it. After 12 lashes or so with the thieves cat, then lashed to a chair or a barrel or whatever convenient thing, dragged round the deck once. And every man he passed was expected to cut him. Right, if you're on a ship like the Victory, yeah. it's 800 men, that's 800 of these. Okay, let me have a go. A flogging was a public event, and the entire crew was ordered on deck to attend. William and his fellow sailors had to watch as their mate was beaten to within an inch of his life. And then, straight back to work. Very satisfying, isn't it? Nelson may not have approved, but flogging was seen as the only way to keep a ship's crew under control. 